I just finished filming a video for my class and I thought maybe I would uh, do one for Facebook just in general because this has been a really fun project that we've been working on. Uh, while the students are working from home, we've been preparing the next project for them to do here in the agriculture class since we only have one greenhouse up and running at the moment, which is not a bad thing uh, because it's full of tomato plants and jalapenos. Um, we have been going around and collecting bamboo from somebody here in Winchester. It's been very convenient, um, very nice of them to share their bamboo for us with us. And we have been going through there. Uh, this is our second harvest of it, I want to say. And we are cutting down some relatively uh, straight rods, if you will. I don't know what the proper terminology for a bamboo stick is, but bamboo shoots. And we've been going for the ones that are nice and thick, about inch to two inches in diameter, and some that are not straight at all, like this one here. And so what we do is we've been, we're gonna have the students go ahead and shave these down, sand them down, and basically turn them into rods that can then be sized to fit the student. Here's a couple of samples. Um, you can see there's some shorter ones here that they can work on. This one needs a lot of sanding, a lot of trimming. There's some sharp edges to it right now, but not when they're done with it. As you can see, they are ridiculously strong. I'm putting all my weight on it right now. I'm shaking. And I mean, this is, you know, a ridiculously thin little, yeah, like I said, they're sharp. Um, <laughs> relatively thin little one. We have some that are probably strong enough to be thick enough and strong enough to be used as scaffolding. Um, cutting them every size, every length. This one is about seven feet tall. It'll be cut down to fit for whatever student decides to go for this one. They'll then have to get the mold off of it, sand it, clean it, all that kind of good stuff. And then finally, we are staining them or coloring them or painting them, which is how the video started out. You could see all the different um, cherry varnish, walnut varnish, clear varnish. Uh, I want to say that was maple. That is some form of green paint that we found here. Don't ask. Um, another clear one. This is some walking sticks I made for Curtis out of a stick that he actually picked this up in New Hampshire. If you look at my cover photos, there's a picture of him looking like Samwise Ganji um, standing at the top of a mountain holding the stick in his hand. Well, I brought it back all the way from New Hampshire to here and have sanded it and put a couple coats of varnish on it. Uh, another one about Curtis size, give you perspective. Um, 5'11", this thing comes right up to about my belly button. So fantastic, perfect size for Curtis. Gives him a handle to hold on to. Not that he needs it. And then of course we got him one made out of bamboo that was completely sanded down. And light coat of varnish. And here's some others that we've been experimenting on. This is, yes, that is John Deere Green Industrial Tractor Paint. All right, and then we got some clear varnish. Uh, once again, experimenting with the cherry and walnut stains created an absolutely gorgeous looking walking stick. I am completely enthralled with it. It's partially sanded, partially not sanded, giving it a interesting finish. And then of course, the industrial black rod. Gotta love that. Uh, another one that we pulled out of the woods that we sanded, and that's probably two coats of varnish on it. And then finally this beauty, which unfortunately I did not try properly and the bottom is cracking. But I am rather in love with the way it looked and came out. I think that was the walnut, the walnut stain as well. So that's kind of stuff I'm gonna be working on with our students in class over the next couple of weeks um, for the days that they are here in class. Gives them a chance to use everything from the radial arm saw, of course, with supervision. You can see all the, the nubs that we've cut off. Uh, we waste nothing. We will find a way to reuse these pieces. May end up turning them into uh, flutes most likely. Um, so we'll get to use that, the power drill for stirring, drill press for uh, when we get some paracord to wrap that. Here's some old junk pieces that they can experiment with. 
and yeah, this will be uh, this will be a project for the next couple weeks for the kids. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, probably go out tomorrow, harvest some more bamboo, fill yet another truckload um, with more choice pieces. We really want more of these curved, warped, whatever you want to call it, twisted bamboo rods. Uh, there's just uh, incredible beauty to them. So that's five minutes of your life you will never get back.